Hey guys, how you all doing? Welcome back. Before I start, I just want to say another massive thank you to all of you that showed such great support in my last video. And today's video, we're going to reflect on today's gospel. So today's gospel is from the gospel of Matthew and it's from the feeding of the 5,000. And when I was reading it today, I saw something that I never really saw before. I saw like a, a transition um, on, like, or like a process, you could say, on how Jesus reacted to the situation with the whole 5,000. So if you look, if we read from the beginning, what happens is this. So Jesus, you know, he must have had a long day, you know, and he was ready to go to a very quiet place. And but as he was going, a massive crowd started to follow him. And so, you know, if I was in Jesus' position, I would have been like, oh man, I'm so tired. Like, I don't have time to speak to 5,000 people, you know. But then Jesus, he had a completely new, a di completely different reaction to it. A reaction which is quite, you know, amazing. Because he didn't react, as in the, he didn't reject them. He didn't, you know, say, oh, you know, I want my own time now. I'm just going to leave them to it. But he was like, oh my gosh, you know, he had compassion for them. He saw the desperation of the 5,000. So as he was going to them, you know, he felt more compassion, over, compassion for them. And he started doing miracles for them. So firstly, there's like an emotional response to the situation. Jesus had compassion and he saw the desperation of the people. And sometimes I feel that we can link to that desperation. Aren't we sometimes so desperate for Christ to intervene in our lives? You know, the 5,000, there, there must have been so many sick people coming there, you know, hoping, seeking for an answer, seeking for an answer from Jesus. But Jesus, he responded. He responded to their desperation with compassion. And as a result, he, heal, he does miracles and he does so many wonders at that, with the 5,000, healing so many people. And Jesus was a solution for their desperation. Jesus was able to solve their problems. And that is such a beautiful thing. And sometimes we are so desperate like that. Sometimes we are so desperate like the 5,000 seeking for that solution from Jesus. But like he did to them, he responded with compassion. So my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is so compassionate. Every time we have something desperate to offer to him, he responds to us with compassion. So while the first half of the gospel is about Jesus showing compassion to the 5,000, the second half of the gospel is just as amazing. So what happens? So now the disciples are telling Jesus, you know, Jesus, you know, it's getting late now, you know, let, let them send them on their way, let them feed for themselves, you know, they can get something to eat. But then Jesus says, no, there's no need for them to eat somewhere else, give them food to eat. And now the disciples will be thinking exactly how we would be thinking. How would that be possible? How can we feed 5,000 people with just the amount that we have? But then this is what Jesus does. And I feel like he does this very often. He gets a situation that seems impossible and turns it into something possible. From nothing, he makes something. And this is exactly what Jesus did in this situation. They gave him the fish and the loaves of bread that they had. And Jesus multiplied it and gave it and fed the 5,000. And the amazing thing is, there was still more left after feeding them all. So what does that actually show us? That shows that from nothing, Jesus can make something. From the impossible, Jesus can make something possible. Many times in our lives, like disciples, we would think that the situation that we are in, the problems that we are facing right now, is just impossible to get through. But Jesus, he always has that solution for the problems that we have. For the things that we find impossible, Jesus makes it possible. So let us, in whatever situation we are in, whatever problems we face, let us offer it to Jesus and trust in Jesus and let Jesus make what we feel impossible, possible. As humans, we sometimes have this mindset of doubting the ability and the power of God. When we have problems in our lives, we feel that it's impossible for the Heavenly Father to intervene, for Jesus to make something out of the problems that we have. So what do we do as a solution? We go around other people, seeking answers from different people, hoping that they will give the solution to us. Then eventually, they can't give the answers that we seek. And I believe that I feel that Jesus deliberately does this. Sometimes he allows us to just wander and wander until we get tired trying to find a solution. And when we can't find a solution, he brings us to a point where we go on our knees and start begging him for the solution, start begging him for an answer. And that is when Jesus 
performs miracles. That is when he performs wonders. And when he gives us the answers we need, we've come to that realization that actually the whole world will never have answers to what we need. But Jesus always has the answer. He always has a solution to our problems. So my dear brothers and sisters, whenever we have problems, don't be hesitant to offer it to the Heavenly Father. Like he did in today's gospel, he will make something out of the impossible. So just trust in him, offer yourself to him, offer your problem to him. There is never any problem that is too much for the Heavenly Father. Thank you guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked this reflection and please do share your own reflections or what you thought about today's passage. I would love to learn from what you guys say too. And yeah, until next time, take care. God bless. Thank you.